Hey everyone, I really need to do a big update because things have been kind of crazy this year. Um, but I don't really like to do updates when things are uncertain or not well. Right now we have a fun update and we'll do everything else some other time. Um, we're moving! So, it's a complete disaster. <laughs> but... I am determined to make sense of it. Um, so that's going to be my room. And I'll keep Alora in with me. But she's going to have her own playroom. It's been played in thoroughly. Can you, can you tell? Mostly we've just thrown uh, things in rooms where they belong. And uh, yeah. The door was off. I've decided to not put the door back on because she really likes to shut doors. We don't need pinch fingers and there's no reason to have the door shut when she's in there or to keep her out of there. So we did a heavy hauling day. It's like loaded up and drop it off. There's the dining room. And the living room. Oh my goodness. There's her, her bookcase. I decided to keep that out here. There's a bedroom upstairs. There's a bedroom over there. Her big sisters. So, um, yeah, it's been crazy. Um, I wasn't even looking to move, and uh, my current landlord told me about another property of his that was available, so we're here, and um, this place is a, a lot nicer. The other place I was very self-conscious of, um, I had to put rugs over the carpets because the carpets... We're not up to my standards. So, um, we've slept here a couple nights already. And um, my bed frame isn't here yet. I, I gotta decide, I gotta see where it's gonna fit best in this room. But I've got actually two closets. So, um, this one's actually like Oh gosh, it's so dark. It's really deep. Um, so I think that's going to be my office area. The doors still need to go on the closets. Um, I've got her crib over here. I'm not going to build that until I decide where I'm going to put my bed and how everything's going to be set up. So yeah, we've gone from two weeks ago and that planning to move at all to <laughs> being in our new home. Um, it's really going to be a lot better for us. And with Laura getting her, her gate trainer was approved um, by insurance. It's going to give her a lot more freedom of movement and a really big, um, you know, hardwood floor you know, to glide around on. Um, it's brand new carpet downstairs. It's nice and safe for her. Her caseworker um, for her, you know, being special needs. She's already been here because we actually had to do her six month review. She's been in the program for six months. Um, this program that um, will buy her whatever she needs. Um, adaptive things. They're actually going to buy the safety products I need here. Um, gate, safety plugs, and then the other thing is going to be um, the anchors for furniture to attach them to the walls. So it's going to be really fun to um, do her toy room because <laughs> she has her own space just so nice oh, so a lot of these toys will be put away I want it to be very simple 
Uh, I'm gonna have a new blind here. I brought some blinds with me today. Um, that's gonna be good. So, Laura did go through another health crisis. Um, she's come back out. I will do kind of a sit down update on that. I don't have anywhere to sit, so I'm just gonna lean on her cube storage. This holds her cloth diapers, all of her feeding tube supplies, all of her medical supplies. So <laughs> I gotta figure out where my bed's gonna go and then everything else will fall in to the right space. Um, but yeah, she's um, kind of back to her baseline now. It was scary and got probably some more things coming up in the future, but not right now, not urgent. So it's, uh, it's nine o'clock. We did a lot of moving today. Um, kind of scattered, scatterbrained. Uh, I'm actually, uh, taping this because I already scrubbed the bathroom floor and I've been waiting for it to dry so I can scrub everything else so we're about halfway there now yeah we got a nice spacious bathroom and so i just want to scrub everything down in here and um you know make sure it's nice and clean for miss alora it's been a lot of work already i still am not done moving things here but all the big stuff is here. Um, still need to finish the kitchen. Random things in my bedroom. My bed frame. And a um, couple other things that are outside. So the majority is done. It's it's Thursday. Um, and I had help today. So we really... <laughs> we really... Yeah. We did what we could. My, my grandma... Um, she passed away before COVID, and she uh, she was cremated. That was her wish. It's ever since I was a kid, she said, "I'm not gonna let the worms eat me." <laughs> there, this girl, tall girl in the back. Oh, that's me. And the girl underneath, little dress. That's my sister. Yay. Yeah, so she finally was interred on Palm Sunday. So, um, it's just been like, go, 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 go. But, um, I have some really nice things. I picked up these, uh, this necklace for Laura's that we do with her photo. She's got it. Grandma's necklace is on. Her little baubles. Yeah. That's going to be fun. Um, and my oldest, she actually had the stomach flu the same morning. It was just... She sat in the car during the service. She's such a trooper. And then Monday, we did a lot of moving. Like, the really, really heavy stuff. Really big stuff we did. Because I had fucking trailer so thank goodness for amazing friends stepping up <sighs> um yeah it's just been busy but things are looking good so i once we especially once we settle down here more you know i might do like a tour or like show her playroom or something you know once i have things how i like it um yeah, she's um, doing good for the moment, um, and we're hoping that it stays that way, obviously. Um, it's just like not having answers again, really. It's, it's frustrating sometimes, but um, I'm just grateful for the good days. So we've got uh, tomorrow's going to be Good Friday, and uh, so 
Easter's coming up here on April 17th, so right now it's um, April 14th. Yeah. We're only halfway through the month. Oh, geez. Let me tell you, the weather's been, like, bipolar. Today it was super windy, like 50 mile an hour gusts, so that's why we didn't move the outdoor stuff, because I had to take a whole shelter with, and... I thought it's probably just going to fly off the trailer, you know, so um, just focused on getting as much of the little stuff over here, heavy stuff, awkward stuff, toss it on the trailer and go. We're only moving several blocks, so that part's really easy. And also, this is not upstairs anymore because I had 16 stairs to get into my old, my old place and that was all outside, so... Yeah, this is nice. Just no steps. Uh, just steps to the upstairs where that bedroom is. Um, and Laura doesn't need to go up there. I don't need to carry groceries up there. We're going to put a gate over there. So um, She is... <laughs> She is with her sister helping to build her bed and she wants nothing to do with me. So I've just been over here, you know, enjoying having like some space to mop the bathroom and not have her knock on the door or want to crawl in there on the wet floor. So my mission tonight is to scrub the bathroom so we have a nice clean space to set everything up and I don't have to worry because it wasn't bad, but you could tell it was like kind of grimy and hadn't been washed in a while. So I brought the disinfectant uh, Lysol stuff over and went to town. So toilet and tub next, and then I'll finish doing the vanity, wipe out the drawers again, and put everything away. So, um, that's about it. I hope everyone's doing well, and uh, happy Easter. Bye.